folder kept at the same level and this images folder will have the minefield.jpg uh, banner that will display on our website more if you want to research on this you can definitely search google for relative uh, uh, paths and for absolute paths in the html file okay now having said this this is the relative path that we have and we will provide a url uh, i'm sure it's not case sensitive but just to be on the safe side i'll make it i i think uh, my images folder i is capital okay maybe uh, let's try with this in case we are not able to see the uh, banner image we'll go and uh, we'll, we'll come back and change the path for this now this line says this inline style says that we provided a background uh, to our header section and the way of provide uh, and the and the way in which we provide the background is we provide the url for the image that we are planning to show okay, let me just save this file and refresh okay great you can actually see the header banner into our website Fine. we gave a 200 pixel height to our banner uh, uh, to the uh, the header section the header div and you can see that the image fits in properly I actually had an idea that you know it would fit in properly but in case you don't have a banner image you have to go and search google for the images just try and get an image that would be approximately you know 1000 pixels uh, or you know 1024 pixels uh, in width and approximately you know 150 or 200 pixels in height okay now uh, this at least looks good the site is you know beginning to take some shape so we have this banner over here let's start working on the body section and again in the body section we need a left section and we need a right section uh, as you might guess I would put a div over here and I'll give it an ID left section I just wrote you know uh, a text left dot 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 so that you can actually identify by reading this text that you are in the left div right section dot 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 so that again you can identify from this text that you are in the right section I'll save this page and I'll refresh this page again okay now over here you can see the left section and the right section as we haven't provided any styles to both these divs you know you can uh, see them you know you can see the left div uh, on the top and the right div at the bottom let me first give it some colors so that we can identify our divs properly so I would put a style inline style tag over here background color uh, let me give a background color yellow uh, to the left div I'll remove the background color from the container from the body container let me give a background color yellow to the left section and a background color I would just copy it and paste it over here and a background color say silver so that you are able to identify properly the left section and the right section a background color silver to the right section div that we have we will save this page and we will refresh our page okay now you can see that this is the left div that you have and this is the right div that that we have right definitely not the way that we want this is what we want exactly the left section and the right section uh, the divs that we have over here the uh, you know the, the uh, it's it's not in the format that we want now we'll give it another style over here when you know i give a style to my left section i ask my left dev to float on the left hand side so i write float colon left so that my dev would float on the left hand side float colon right so that my right section dev would you know float towards the right hand side I'll save this page and I'll refresh this page okay now at least we see that the left div is on this side and the right div is on this side 
again you know not the way we want let's give our left div some width and our right div some width so that we should see approximately uh, uh, we you know see the uh, the body section approximately uh, in this layout the left section over here and the right section over here okay let me divide the whole area uh, you know between left section and the right section by providing a width of i would go with 25% to the left section and a width say you know if you consider this whole width to be 100% 25 goes with the left section simple mathematics 75 goes with the right section right? now we save that file and we refresh this again and you can see that the left section the yellow section is on the left hand side the right section on the right hand side somewhat close to what we are planning to do okay now let's give the left section some height and the right section some height so that you know we can uh, get a better idea of what we are looking at i would give my left section a height of say 500 pixels my right section a height of 500 pixels now when we refresh this okay good we see the left section on this side and we see the right section on this side definitely not with a yellow color and a silver color we'll remove these colors and we'll put a menu section for the left hand side and the content section for the right hand side now let me begin with the right hand side first in which see as we are working on the index.html which would be the home page and we decided that we'll go with we'll go with three pages uh, home about us and contact us right so let's start working on the right uh, hand side uh, part first and then we'll put a menu on the left hand side okay. before i start working on the right section let me remove the color for this because the only purpose we had to uh, provided a color was so that you can identify over here properly that you know this is the right section so i just remove the color and if i refresh this you see that you don't have the background color but definitely now you understand that the right section extends up till uh, this line over here okay now we need to provide it some content i would go with providing it a heading first the h1 tag comes into picture okay we'll refresh this page and you see that you have the home that you have the home uh, heading over here we'll put in some content into this page and we will use the and we'll use the paragraph tag for this okay and we'll put in some content for our website now uh, instead of just writing some dummy content let me go back and copy some content from my website i would copy this content from my site and and paste this content over here let me hit a few enters and so that you can read the whole text that we copied over here okay no worries because the browser will automatically display as the content <coughs> sorry So we have a paragraph tag, and in this paragraph tag, we kept the content that we want to display on the home page. Now we just saved this file. We have two files open over here. You know, uh, I'll just close the one uh, which we were not using. This is the one we are using. We just refreshed, and we saw the ho home uh, header section over here. We'll refresh this, and you see that you have 
some text written on this page also now uh, it would be nice if we can have some space between the left uh, you know dev and the right dev because over here you can see h is touching the left section uh, you know uh, it's just touching the left section which would not look good although we'll be removing the yellow color from the left dev and you know at that time you won't notice this part but the reason i started working on the right section first was because i wanted to uh, let you know that these sections both these devs they are actually touching each other and we need to put some margin over here so that the right section and the left section they are separated with some margin now for that what i'll do is i'll go to the right uh, dev in the style part i would put a margin M A R G I N margin left as say 10 pixels. Now, when I save this file and I refresh this page again, okay, when I refresh this page again, you saw that this section got empty. It's it's actually not empty over here. Now, earlier what we did was considering that this whole body is 100%, I gave 25% to my left hand side and I gave 75% to my right hand side. Now when we gave some margin it actually uh, the uh, the uh, text that we have over here it overflowed it tried to exceed from this uh, you know limit that we have over here and it was pushed down by the browser now what we need to do over here is for the right section we need to change it to say 70 percent so that any margins we provide this <coughs> sorry so that any margins uh, that we provide for the right section they can be easily accommodated now after changing the width to 70 percent i'll refresh this page and you can clearly see over here that there's a there's a margin by of 10 pixels on this side and the page fits in properly okay? 10 pixels seems uh, you know very large over here uh, we would go with 5 pixels margin we will refresh this and you have the margin as 5 pixels it didn't work let us check 2 pixels okay, again it didn't work let's go with a different approach instead of providing a margin let's just add a padding of say 10 pixels now when you come back and refresh this again no uh, you, know, you don't see this okay we'll you know uh, troubleshoot this at a later stage but the initial idea was that we need to have some space between the left uh, section and you need to have some space between the right section all right now this becomes the home page that we have now we need to create an about us page also and a contact us page also and we need to put a menu on the left hand side so that you can you know have anchor tags uh, uh, you know for the home page you can have an anchor tag for the about us page and you can have an anchor tag for the contact us page now once we click on those tags uh, those uh, you know hyperlinks see when i say anchor tag when i say a hyperlink when i say a link you know they all mean the normal links you are aware of uh, similar to the ones you are looking you know when you uh, come to this website and you can see this icon this pointer this hand pointer all these are links fine when you click on this link it will take you to the page uh, you know that is associated with this link okay now let's work on the left section and this is something